all, this is going to be another plumbing video and do not tell me off for working on my own boiler because I've asked a plumber to come out, two plumbers to come out now and have another go at fixing it uh, and no response. So it's not my fault, okay? Plus what's happened is, I think what's happened here is we were losing a bit of pressure, but it's not just that. I think, well, I know for a fact that the three-way valve is sticking. So it is a Potterton, is a Potterton, yeah, Potterton Combi HE Plus, 24H, whatever, anyway, whatever. We've got an error, that's fine, I can fix that because we're low on pressure on this. That's no problem, I'm not worried about that. So what I'm going to do is remove this little beauty. This is the three-way valve. And what's happening is we have to remove this split pin from the drive motor. I know what you're going to say, it's the drive motor. No, it's not because I've changed it. This is a new drive motor or a stepping motor, whatever you want to call it. I know for well there's a little tiny pin inside here. So when you call for hot water, uh, it's either up or down, I can't remember which one it is now. And when you don't want hot water, you want central heating, the motor drives the pin down. Well, what's happening is it's driving it down and we're getting either but very sporadically and either the hot water is cold but we get good central heating so i know for a fact the pin in the air and the water is so bad in this county that it's bloody all furred up so i'm going to remove this remove the valve and i'll show you as i'm going along okay so please yourself if you want to tell me off because i don't care <laughs> so i've removed the split pin and then i'm going to do is just remove the drive motor at the top and put it to one side Inside here is a PCB board. Be careful not to get any water spilt on it. You've got to drain the system, which I'll show you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to turn the mains off and I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, I've turned the um, mains off to the electric, to the cupboard. I've turned the mains water off underneath the sink. Uh, and then underneath here, if you look right underneath, I can't actually show you. But if right underneath here, if you can see with my fingers, this part here, let me just zoom in this little tube here underneath there is an eight mil little nut and i had to use this because it was quite corroded okay so you need to undo that so i'm not going to do i'm going to do step by step but i'm not going to show you me undoing it because that's boring so i'm just going to now undo that nut okay that's what it looks like that comes underneath now I'm going to drain the system. Um, that is, um, I've turned everything off and there's a drain plug. I think it's just on the right here. If you look where my finger is there, I can get you in. I'll zoom. Sorry about this, it's a bit awkward with the camera one hand. This as well, so I'll start draining that as well. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care. I've got to get the heating back on and the water working properly because I'm going away in a couple of days for a week. And I can't leave the wife and we're a grandchild as well without any heating. Give it a go. Have a go. Right. Oh, that's been on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Resume. Okay, so that is now draining. At the back here, this part here, this big silver box at the back, that's the heat exchanger. It's held on by two bolts that go through, one there and one on the other side. I'm not going to take the other side off, there's no need to, so I've done this. So um, the next thing I do, once it's drained, I'm going to start undoing the pipes. There's one there uh, and there's two underneath there, which I'll undo, that one there. They'll probably end up leaking though in my luck. But hey, it's life experience. So I'll give you a go in a minute. Okay. Next I'm gonna do this one. The big one. I'm probably wrong, I don't know, it's quite loose. Okay, train a bit more. And then I've got two underneath which I'll do. In a second, I've got bowls and buckets everywhere. So I'll just let that finish for a while. Just to let anybody know that when we had the boiler, we had all this. So we have consulted the Oracle, which is this, and this is what I'm, I'm following step by step. 
Uh, if I get a chance, I'll photocopy this and put it on in the link down below. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's cool. James just found that. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got no water, so someone else has decided to partake in a beer. Typical, I do all the work, while she just has a beer. Right, so I've undone that one. That's undone now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is undo... Stop it, she's pouring a beer in front of me. So now what I'm going to do is... <laughs> Go away! Stop it, going in. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to do the other ones now underneath. So there's two underneath, okay? So they're going to come off. This is going to cause me a bloody nightmare, I know. Right. But we're all clean and tidy. We've got towels everywhere. Just let that drain. I'll check that washers afterwards. I've been told to check the washers and the seals as well, which I will do. Okay, next I'm going to undo, I'm just undone that. This is the, uh, the bolt that retains the heat exchanger. I've just undone it, sorry, I just I'll lift out the picture for a second. That comes out. Should come to the end of the water soon. Okay, let that finish, get back to you again. Okay, I'm going a bit of trouble with. Um, one of the um, pipes underneath. I've got the main one off. I've got the big one at the side. I've got this one off. Okay, I've got the one down below, the first one off. It's this little one here which goes into here. You can see it's quite badly corroded. Can you see that? And it's quite badly corroded underneath as well. So This one underneath here, the far see. one, this one here, can you see me? that one? There's a bit of a bugger, but we've done it now. That's undone. So they're all undone underneath. They come with little washers, so keep them. And then this unit is now loose, so there we go. I'll remove the sensors and then by the look of it, the washers, if you can see them, which connect to the heat exchanger, it looks like they're pretty bad, corroded. So I'll nip to town tomorrow and get a couple of new ones because it's putting, it's putting it back like that because it'll just leak. So if you can see them. Yeah, it's just falling apart. Can you see that? My finger. Uh, where's my finger gone? Ah. Yeah, okay. So, right, to conclude, tomorrow. But it's all right. It's very doable, very doable. Okay, what I've just done now, if I can show you. Down the, I've just pulled out the heat exchanger because I'm replacing all four washers, not uh, seals. Okay, so I'll put a link for these in the description down below. You need to order these before you change the unit or the um, heat exchanger. And there's a screw right down the back. If you can see that, my finger is. If I can focus, it's a bit awkward. Is it up there? You'll see it anyway, a little hex screw which holds the heat exchanger on. Undo that and then take the whole heat exchanger out and then at the back here round the back on another brass coupling I don't know what it is I'm no professional like I said you'll have to you'll have to remove the other two um, oh, the seals the round seals and then just clean it and mine's nice and clean now so I'm going to put the new seals back in okay so I've also just cleaned the heat exchanger ports just around the top make sure they're nice and clean and then i'm going to put the seals back in and i've also off the old one removed whatever this is solenoid and then i'm going to place now with some new o-rings in this and start assembly so back in a sec okay i've just replaced the old seals around the back it was that simple just pushing them in so now i'm going to replace the heat exchanger and put it in if I can get to it. It's that simple. I'm not going to fully tighten it just so it's there ready to go. Okay. I think I'm a little bit. 
That's it, okay. Then I'm going to replace now the O seals. That's how easy it is. And like that, and then I'm going to start. So I'll put this sensor in, that sensor in. Um, I've got some new washers to go on the base of the Z's, which I'll sort out now, and then I'll start reassembling. for the heat exchanger. Not over tightening just yet. Just tighten them up. Okay. I'll start dropping some new seals in now for the pipes. Sorry, I know I'm in the way a bit. Okay. Drop a new seal down the bottom. Up it goes. And then... A new seal on that one as well. That one was a little bit awkward, this one here. trouble with that one. Okay I've got a bit of trouble getting this one on down below. Um, so what I've done I undid all the rest of them and undid the heat exchanger again and then undid the valve at the side here and on underneath and I put that one on first. So I've made a juglet by lifting it up and then juggle it gently no pressure just gently until it catches and then we've got it. So then I'll um, now redo the heat exchanger. Pop it in like that. See that? Yep, yeah. so that's the heat exchanger screw going in. Okay, now we'll type that home. Same as the other one, which is down here. Right down the centre there. Okay, he's tightened down. Right, now I'll replace the watch washer on this one and drop it. <laughs> I got some spares, it's fine. Okay. Don't need them anymore. Okay, so I'm going to replace the washer on this one and that one, and I'll get back to you. Major tight. I mean, crimp them, but don't over tighten them so you crush everything. Okay. So always double check. Yes, yes. Okay. So that one's a bit more. Just checking. Make sure it's still it's a nice fit. That's it. Little one here. Okay, 
and then it's got little goes in and underneath here goes underneath there and screws into that and that's a 8mm and this can go in here this can only go in one way around and that is there's a little nodule missing there that goes to the top I say that that's it I gotta remember this way around, so that one is on there, that one is on there, so that's them two wired up. That's done. So next is the drive motor. So I'll put him on in place, and then with the pin in place. Right, so I'll go through it again with a fine tooth comb, make sure I've done everything and then we'll repressurize. Okay, all back together. Seems like she's working okay. Just dropped the center heating on, and that's warming up now. Tested the hot water, that's working. Yeah, looks like a good, good job done. Um, I will leave um, where I got the seals for the heat exchanger from in a link down below. Hope this is helpful to somebody. Thanks for watching, take care. And uh, I'll see you in the next vid. Bye.